Alright guys, I've got the official One UI 5 release here on my S22 Ultra. It's also out for the Flip 4. Now I did miss a few things when I was talking about all the new features in the beta versions. So let's talk about those things in this video. And one of the first things I want to touch upon and probably the most experiential change is how smooth One UI 5 is now. So I'm comparing it with the earlier One UI 4.1.1 version on the right and although the animations are slower on the One UI 5, they're that's why a lot smoother as well and it's really something you have to experience when you get it. And even the touch to response is so good now. Second, now any image that has any kind of text, you can just copy and paste it. So just long press on the text, your phone will identify that it's actually text and you can just copy and paste it to create digital text out of that image. Super cool. Now on One UI 5, you'll be able to simply draw around uh, a face of a human being or a pet and that way just extract that particular face and convert that into a sticker. So you'll be given the option to, you know, have like a stroke around the face of any color of your choice and thickness and just save it as a sticker. Next, previously when you were setting up D&D mode, you could not specifically allow certain colors. So you, it either had to be contacts or favorite contacts, right? But now with One UI 5, you'll be able to specifically decide which contacts can get through and contact you in D&D mode. All right, coming to the next one, you can now set up multiple timers. So you can have timer one counting down to 10 minutes. Then you can have another timer by tapping on the plus icon, which could be for 10 minutes. So you could have a kitchen timer, you could have a timer to get into a meeting and so on. And yeah, you can easily juggle through them inside the clock app. And if I go outside, it's gonna turn into a small widget for the last timer that you were watching. In the earlier One UI version, which is this one, if I tap on plus, it only allowed me to add a preset, not start another timer. So that's one. I wanna talk about battery life and there's a noticeable improvement in there. I'm almost averaging 30 minutes more now every day. Like I definitely feel that the battery percentage now is dropping slower than what I'm used to. So there's definitely an improvement. Okay, next. For phones that support extra brightness, for example, the S22 series, the Flip 4, the Fold 4, you've got the option for extra brightness right here, which was not there earlier. So if you turned on auto, it, it'll disappear. But if you turn off auto mode, you'll get the option to toggle extra brightness. Now, one of the things that they've changed in the camera UI is the zoom scale. So they've condensed it, and that way it's a lot easier for you to go from 0.5x or 0.6x all the way to 10x or 100x. So now you can do that almost from the beginning to the end within two swipes. So small change. Another change in the camera UI is the ability to add a watermark to every picture, but a customizable one. So by default, it'll have your model name, but you could go ahead and change it to your name or to your company's name and whatever. You can also choose to have a date and time and you can change or pick from three fonts that are available. My favorite, is the Samsung Sharp Sense, and you can change the alignment as to where it should appear. Samsung has now really made it easy for you to identify and apply automations, or rather routines on your phone. What they've done with One UI 5 is that they've organized all of these presets very nicely, and they've presented it in a very well-organized list. So it's really easy for you to find something that suits your lifestyle and the way you use your phone. For example, you watch a lot of content on YouTube or Netflix or Amazon Prime, so you can just add those apps into this routine. And every time you open one of these apps, it's gonna do all of these things. Turn your Wi-Fi on, Dolby Atmos, D&D mode, and set your auto-rotate to on automatically. But you may need to change or edit these or tweak them a little to better suit how you use your phone. For example, you don't want your Wi-Fi to turn off when you go out of these apps. But anyway, point is, all of these are very nicely listed now, and you can just go through them and see which are the ones that you want to apply and activate. All right, this one's pretty cool. Uh, I can annotate on videos, right? And now I can draw perfect shapes. So if I pause the video, go into edit, click on the last option, pick up the pen. And now if I draw a circle and hold, it converts that into a circle, like a perfect circle. I draw an arrow and hold, converts that into an exact arrow. Uh, I can do that for pictures also, obviously, not just videos. So again, same process, click on edit, pick up the pen, draw a circle, touch and hold. There you go. All right, next, a couple of changes to Samsung Dex mode. So now you've got a notification center and it shows an orange dot to tell you that there are new notifications. That was missing earlier. 
You can also click on the date and time to open a mini calendar, much like in Windows. You also now get the option to search, again, much like Windows, so you can search for an app or a file. And now if you right click on, let's say, camera or phone or whatever app, it shows you shortcuts that you can directly get into. So I could get into missed calls or search within phone. One of the new widgets that they've added in addition to stacks is smart suggestions widget. So if you get that out on your home screen, it basically shows apps or actions that you perform or use a lot on your phone. So that way you don't have to keep hunting for those apps. They're always there right in front of you because you use them so often. I think that's really useful. And of course, one of the biggest changes is that you can now edit your lock screen from the lock screen itself. You can choose between different kinds of clocks. You can change the size of the clock. You can change how your notifications appear, small ones or the expanded big ones. You could also change the shortcuts. So you've got more options available now. You can pretty much launch any app from these shortcuts. And I did talk about this in my earlier One UI 5 beta video. But what they've not done is the ability to save these home screen or lock screen changes. Like on the iPhone with the iOS 16, you could do that. And I think one of the best changes they've done, which is kind of borrowed from iOS, is that when you install a new app and you launch it for the first time, it's going to ask you, do you want this app to be able to send you notifications or not at all? So yeah, and talking about notifications, the other thing that they've done is you've got now control over what kind of notifications shows up. Do you want them on the lock screen? Do you want them as a badge? Do you want the pop-up notification to show up? And within notification categories, as always, you can, you know, just turn off notification that you don't want from an app. And lastly, they have sort of reorganized how your wallpapers are browsed and used and applied. So they've, you know, nicely categorized graphical colors from your gallery and even the ones that you purchase from the Galaxy Theme Store. So you can access them all very nicely in rows and columns and you can apply them. And within colors, there's like a bunch of options. You know, you could choose any color, any style and create as many wallpapers as you want. There are actually a lot more changes to how, let's say the gallery now shows albums and shared albums, changes to stories, some changes to the camera UI, a lot of reordering and reorganization of various settings and the way they're now clubbed together. And I've talked all about that in these two videos here, so you can check those out as well. All right, that's pretty much it, guys, about the One UI 5. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification icon, and mark all. I'll see you guys in the next one.